hi guys so I'm making this video to do um, the what's on my Pandora bracelet again um, and the reason I'm doing it again is because I had some complaints that they couldn't see the charms correctly and stuff like that so I figure I would just redo it because I have more charms anyway um, I took that video down like a while ago because I was people were like oh I, I can't see the charms and stuff so I said okay so I'll just redo it and here we are so let me just take it off it's hard for me to get it off <laughs> not really but okay so um I have two Pandora bracelets right now I do plan to have more but for now I have two I have the um the 8.3 bangle bracelet <laughs> I couldn't think of the name 8.3 bangle bracelet and then I have the 8.3 um the regular bracelet with the, the snake chain with the lobster claw and uh, the reason I decided to get a lobster claw is because I thought it I liked it better um it takes some getting used to to put it on but I actually like it better than the other one so I figure why not try it so I returned um my last one and I got this one instead and uh I'm actually a size 7.5 but I actually like for the bracelet to be a bit bigger so yeah um I just got an 8.3 instead they do have a 9.1 but that have been it have been too big and um I'm losing weight so it wouldn't have been practical but anyway so let's start out on my bangle first and on my bangle I don't really have that many charms on it um, I have an open works and it is the um, picking daisies open works come on now focus there we go it's the picking daisies open works and I got this one because my daughter loves flowers and she loves to pick daisies and pick flowers period so yeah then I have the love dangle there we go and I got it because uh, I love a lot of people so I just figure why not this was actually the first charm I ever got so yeah then the next one I have a dove I think it's called the dove of hope right there and uh I hope for the better for a lot of things so when I saw it was a dove of hope and I love birds so I was like yeah I'm gonna get this one too because of what it means to me so yeah and then the last charm on this bangle is the king of the jungle I guess <laughs> come on it's a lion and uh, it's symbolic of my name lioness if it will focus it's just focusing on other things right now come on please focus I hope y'all could see it because this this thing is not focusing on the right stuff it's trying to focus on everything else there we go Okay. Now on to my bracelet. Let me actually pull this in so I can get better 
up close. So I'm going to start from this end and this is full. It actually took me three months to fill this up. I got this bracelet this year and uh, I kind of went crazy with wanting to fill it up. I've had so many bracelets and uh, I actually like this one better so anyway um so now the first charm i have is the my special sister charm and uh my oldest sister actually has the other piece to this so yeah then my second charm is an h for my name harriet then the next one is let me turn it. The next one is an elephant because I love elephants. They're so smart. They're intelligent creatures and I think they're just so wonderful. So I love elephants. Then, and I, th I think it's called a lucky elephant too. I'm is focusing on everything but what it's supposed to anyway then my next charm is a daisy there you go and again I love daisies so and my daughter likes daisies too and she likes to pick flowers so yeah then the next one I have a crown and I have this crown not because I think I'm a princess or anything um, my grandmother was a beauty queen and I when I was younger I used to uh, be in beauty pageants so it's symbolic of both of those things I actually want to get another crown specifically for my grandma and this one would be for me so I might do that one instead of having both of them mean the same thing mean two different things I mean then after that I have come on I have Mickey right there there we go. I have Mickey Mouse and my daughter loves Mickey Mouse so I wanted that and I like Disney too so yeah. Then the next one is a heart. Big smooth heart. Um, I actually really really love hearts because my daughter is was born on um, Valentine's Day so I'm very big into hearts and stuff like that. So yeah, then I have a clip, a ribbed clip, and I actually really like these clips, but yeah. Then I have a music note. This is a treble clef because I sing and yeah, I'm, I'm a singer and I play the piano as well. So yeah, then I have a spacer and this is the uh, clear spacer it's all sparkly and stuff and this part of the bracelet is my favorite part because it means the most to me is the most it's the most important part of my bracelet pretty much I have two Hamsa hands here and they are symbolic of my children I have one child but I did lose a son uh, my daughter was a twin so um, my son he stopped growing when he was five months in my uh, in my womb so yeah um, I expected both of them to be in my life obviously but it didn't work out like that but I still have these symbolic for both of them 
um, I never forget about him so I decided to get two of these um, and then I have the loving mother in the middle and then I have an open works heart and then I have the galaxy meaning the kids are my galaxy and stuff like that so this is my most favorite part of the bracelet here it's the most important um, then I have another spacer over here and a piano because again I play piano then right here I have um, another clip then I have a butterfly I don't remember what this is called I forget what it's called but it's a butterfly something but it's so cute and my daughter a lot of stuff on this bracelet has to do with my baby if you notice um, but my daughter loves butterflies so I said why not and then after that I have the peaceful panda and I just think it's so cute it reminded me of my daughter when I <laughs> I wasn't gonna get it um, I saw it and the little ears remind me of my daughter's puffs when I do her little puff hairstyles and I just thought it was so cute so I was like I'm gonna get this one cuz it just reminds me of my little munch my munchkin I was about to say monster munchkin but uh <laughs> anyway okay and then the next one after that come on is the 2000 oh no 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 wait it's a Mickey Minnie Mouse charm and uh again that has to do with my baby my daughter and come on here we go then after that I have the 2015 club charm with the real diamond in it um, I wanted this one to symbolize when I started this bracelet like what year I started it so I really really wanted this one and plus it has a real diamond in it so that puts a lot more value into my bracelet then I have a Bible as the next charm I'm very religious not overly religious but I am a religious person I love Jesus so that symbolizes my faith in Jesus and then right here the next one I have <laughs> butterfly garden which is an open works as well and again the butterflies have to do with my daughter and then I have another music note and then I have the love connection um, safety chain and that is the end of my bracelet this again I don't I think I did say it. it's a lobster claw clasp and all of my charms I buy from Pandora the only one I found um, on the internet from a reputable person who sells authentic and I had it authenticated as well um, I got this one off of eBay the Alpha H I got the Alpha H off of eBay because this is a retired charm. I didn't want a dangly H. I wanted one that was more like a charm. So that's why I chose that one instead of um, the dangle H. Um, but every other charm I have, I have bought from Pandora or um, Nordstrom Pandora yeah all my charms come from Pandora or Nordstrom but mostly Pandora uh, I can tell you where each one came from <laughs> this one the butterfly garden came from uh, P 
Pandora. My Bible came from Nordstrom. The Club Charm came from Pandora. The Panda, Pandora. The Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Nordstrom. The Butterfly, Pandora. The Clips, Pandora. Um, but you basically get the picture. I only um, have Pandora charms on my my bracelet because it'll bother me if they're not really Pandora. I tried that in the beginning. It ain't work out. I ended up taking them off. So, yeah. Um, I'm not done at all. I'm far from being done collecting Pandora. There are a couple of rings that I want that I will be getting pretty soon. So, yeah. And also, I've been thinking about starting a gamer bracelet because I play video games. But it's hard to find charms that symbolize a video game. There are like a couple of them I've seen, but I'm not sure if you know I don't know but I'm, I'm thinking of putting together a game and bracelet I know for sure that I want to make um, a uh, Disney bracelet so that I know for sure I'm gonna do um, but maybe I'm thinking maybe I might turn this one into my game or bracelet but I, I haven't decided yet so I don't know but anyway that is it and uh yeah i'll talk to you guys later and thank you for watching bye